We've arrived then at our penultimate group. We are on group E now. Eight to go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. 24 days previewing 24 nations ahead of UEFA Euro 2024. And today... We're at Belgium. Now, Belgium weren't always the powerhouses that they have been in more recent years. Between Euro 84 and Euro 2016, they failed to qualify even once. The exception to this, though, was Euro 2000, because they were hosts. But still, they were eliminated at the group stage. So it's been the last decade that's seen that real upturn in terms of quality and results. Their best performance in this time was at the 2018 World Cup, where they finished Third, they were knocked out in the semi-finals by France, who went on to win the competition. In terms of how they qualified, they won their qualifying group ahead of Austria and Sweden. They finished with six wins and two draws. And their striker, Romelu Lukaku, finished as the top scorer for the entirety of qualifying for Euro 2024 with 14 goals. He actually finished four goals ahead of his nearest challenger, which was Cristiano Ronaldo, on 10 for Portugal. Their coach is Domenico Tedesco. He has taken over from Roberto Martinez. He led them through qualifying unbeaten, but his long-term future will be decided on his performance at this Euros as his contract will expire at the end of the tournament. He's had previous spells with Schalke, where he led them to second in the Bundesliga, as well as Spartak Moscow and RB Leipzig. In terms of their players to watch, the first man to take a look at is their captain, Kevin De Bruyne, who's about to hit a century of caps for his nation. He's not the most vocal of captains, to say the least. He's a quiet leader. He prefers to lead by example. And that's a lot easier when you've been ultra successful like he has, for example, for Manchester City, where they won the treble in 2022-2023. In terms of their star man, though, it has to go to that king of qualifiers, Romelu Lukaku. He has been irreplaceable now for Belgium for many, many years. He has 83 goals in 114 caps. His spells in the Premier League have been slightly indifferent, particularly at Manchester United. But in Serie A, he's continued to shine and he's on for another 20-plus goal season this year. In terms of one to watch, I am plumping for Amadou Onana from Everton. The centre midfielder has been linked to a lot of top clubs, including Arsenal and Barcelona. With the ageing players of Belgium's past starting to be moved on, this is a major opportunity for him to establish himself as a key part of the future Belgium lineup. He'll be competing with the likes of Tillemans and Mangala for those centre mid spots. In terms of other observations on the squad as a whole, centre back has to be a concern. It's very likely that 36-year-old Jan Vertonghen will still start at the back. In terms of how they line up, it could be a mixture of formations, but what we do know for sure is Tedesco has always used a four at the back, and I'm going to guess it will be a 4-2-3-1 he will go for at Euro 2024. I'm expecting to see Kevin De Bruyne in the number 10 role with Trossard on the left and Doku on the right. In terms of their expectations for the tournament, they will hope they can win it at last. They can win a competition after having this golden generation that never quite managed to seize the crown. They will hope that maybe this time they can finally achieve their goal. In terms of what I think will happen is I believe they are going to get safely through this group in top spot, but then they are likely to face one of Croatia or Italy, who I think will knock them out in the last 16. In terms of their odds for the competition, they are bigger than they have been in recent times. They are now sitting at 16 to 1. But let me know what you think regarding this Belgium team. It's certainly an interesting one. It's not quite what it was as of five, six years ago, but certainly still some interesting profiles in there. But for now, I'll be seeing you guys again next time when we will be coming to the nation of Slovakia. I'll see you guys for that one.